How's it going, guys? John here from the Killer Bits, and today we are kicking off with some sociable soccer from the Publishers Tower Studios and developed by the team at Combo Breaker. And is it actually headed up by none other than John Hare? Now, that name may ring a bell with some of you, maybe some of you kind of my age, uh, because John Hare was one of the biggest de developers back in the day, back in the the old kind of Atari Amiga era of games. He was one of the uh, developers behind the sensible software games like Cannon Fodder and most notably Sensible Soccer. Yes, this is the living embodiment of what Sensible Soccer would be if it was released today. And we will dive in. I will show you what's going on if it wants to work. There we go. Um, I will say this is an early access game. Now, normally I don't touch sports games, but this tickled my fancy uh, because of the kind of the pedigree of Sensible Soccer. Uh, so the fact that it's a sports game and it's early access probably shows there is something special here. But I will, you know, add the caveat of it. It is early access. It's a little bare bro bones. I mean, if we go up to the options here, we can see there's a lot of work stuff they're working on. I mean, admittedly, it does have a full single player campaign mode of sorts, which is its its boss mode here, where we we progress along uh, uh, all the leagues around the world essentially. Um, but for it being a sociable soccer game, uh, it, at the moment it doesn't have online play. Apparently, they're testing it. It does work, but they've just yet to roll it out. You can play multiplayer locally. You can do local multiplayer. So it is very reminiscent of back in the day playing, playing, you know, with your family, with your brother around, around the computer sort of thing. It's still yet to have its manager mode implemented, which is, um, I think, kind of the tactical stuff. It's where you can, you know, pick your squad. You can do substitutions, the team formation, things like that. Uh, no DIY competitions yet. Also... When they initially announced this, they did it as a Kickstarter. And I remember it stuck in my mind in the video. They made this big point of you would basically be able to create your own avatar which would support your team. And the chances are, you know, if you had like a, a big guild of people that were supporting the, a one particular team, your avatar could actually be pulled into the team as a player. But at the moment... There's a lot of teams. There's a thousand odd teams you can play as. And as you can see, there are 30,000 player cards. He has 30 odd thousand players in the game. Uh, but we will dive into a quick friendly to start things off. Let's do a yeah, let's do a club friendly. And like I said, there's a, there's a lot of teams to pick from. A thousand odd. So we got, you know, English teams. We've got Spanish teams, German teams, French teams. Pretty much all of Europe, we've got Japan, South Korea, the American teams, Australian teams, Africa. Basically, if you're a football fan, you'll probably be able to find a team you recognize at least. And for this kind of quick little test, I, I'm going to go back home to my roots. And where where is it? There we go. We're going to go play as Coventry City. And let's do something ridiculous. Let's play against somebody in the Premiership. Let's play against, yeah, Liverpool. So we're going to be way outclassed. But that said, even with my ineptitude, I think I should be able to hold my own because the AI is a little dumb. Well, I'll say that. Uh, as you can see there, yes, I am playing on gamepad. Apparently, you can play with keyboard and mouse, but it's only really viable with gamepad. I mean, I've tried doing keyboard and mouse, I managed to navigate some of the menus that way, but as soon as it, I wanted to start a game, it said press A on the gamepad, even though it wasn't plugged in. So, yeah, you're going to need a gamepad plugged in for this. And because it's that kind of arcade constantly feel to it, it, it works. It works better on a gamepad. So we can see uh, right trigger is sprint, and I can't see any penalty for not sprinting, so my finger is constantly on that. And then, as for the face buttons... A button is pass, uh, we kick with X, and then we can chip it over players with the Y button, then hoof it up the field on the B button. Very, very simple, very easy to 
get your head around and navigate and things like that. So let's get ready to kick off. And it looks like it's our ball. So obviously we can kind of pick who, who we're going to kick it to. You. Right, let's just start passing it around the field. Oh, oh, oh. And you can see it automatically finds the closest player. If you're close enough, you can normally do a straight tackle off somebody. Though we can also do... Oh, sliding tackles. I thought it was about to go off the field. So, um, You can take out somebody's legs. Normally that will result in you getting a, a, a yellow card. Or even a red card. But let's chip it over the top. No! Oh, it went. Did it go in? No, no, no. No, it's corner kick. All right. Sorry. My mistake. Uh, you... Right. So you're probably saying at the moment, well, this doesn't really feel like a sensible soccer game. There we go. Like I said, we can take out somebody's uh, legs from under them. Um, also, it, it kind of looks like it's, well, a Unity game. It is a Unity game. I mean, the, the all the player models are a little kind of boxy and I would say almost like PS1 era. Uh, <laughs> uh, but... Honestly, this isn't really the mode I play it in. Uh, it, at the push of a button, if I press the select button, we suddenly turn into a sensible soccer. And this makes the, the gameplay, you know, a hundred times easier because you can actually see where you're shooting, who you're shooting to, kind of the path of uh, you know, the directions you're shooting. Let's hoof it up the field and we can curl the ball in from midway. There we go. There we go outclassing Liverpool, uh, who are like three divisions above us. So there you go. So, like I said, it's a lot easier in that mode, and the, the AI is pretty dumb to start off with. So let's... There we go. All right. Half time. Uh, the, I will say that the matches are about... Well, I'd say sub-10 minutes. I think, I think it is, you know, literally nine minutes long. So, you know, one minute of game time for ten minutes of, you know... Uh, in in game time okay right you get the corner uh, like you said they, they they kicked it all the way down here and then they uh, managed to kick it off the field uh, uh, let's chip it over the goalie no not quite so I've had a reasonable amount of fun with it it's it's fun, arcadey, simple, easy, easy to grasp. This is probably the epitome of like a a, a, a a drunken party game type one. There you go. Chipped it over the top of him. And we, we, we'll be able to see just how blocky... There you go. You can see the crowd look like something out of the PS1 era. They they look like they're at, you know, the models from GoldenEye or something like that. <laughs> just these uh, plastic faces spread over a mesh. Um... So it's, I will say it's not the prettiest game. This is why I'm preferring to play it in this mode because then it's a little less distracting. It's a little, a little easier to uh, play uh, because you can actually see what you're doing. Oh, no. My ball. No. My ball. Uh, give it back. Give back my ball. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I want to hoof it down the field again. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, big curl on it, but no, no cigar. Um, yeah, it, it's it's not a great looker. I will say that uh, if you're going to want to play this for it being, you know, a super simulation of, uh, you know, football. Yeah. Uh, and also, it's, this isn't going to steal any players away from pairs and FIFA. This is very much a, you know, it's its own thing. It's very much... The nostalgia glasses, the rose-tinted glasses of playing sports games, you know, you know, 20, 30 odd years ago. It's there's 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 a special li little niche for it. Um, we can do you know, national uh, teams. We can do the old rivalry of England versus Germany. Uh, we can even do stuff like let me go go back. We can do like custom uh, casual cups, leagues, tournaments. Um, though I will say. The campaign mode does cover a lot of the bases and as I said we need to progress all the way up to elite level though this is where it gets quite repetitive so as you can see here I've just unlocked dodgy 
because uh, that cost me 15 of these S points, so sensible soccer points, whatever it is. And each each one of these gives us X number. So something like the Australian Cup was reasonably easy to do. It was like three matches and we get two points. Get up to the English Division 3, 4, whatever it was. That was 46 matches. Each of them, you know, 10 minutes long. This is where it gets very repetitive. And even with my own ineptitude, I still managed to just romp away with that. I think I can see I got... I won practically all the games. I drew a couple with no score draw and lost one. And that was basically because I was having a conversation with somebody whilst playing and I only conceded one goal. So the AI, at least in this kind of, you know, rookie mode, is very, very dumb. And as you saw, I... I managed to play a, a division, two divisions above me with not a lot of, you know, fuss. So we'll, we'll give Dodgy a go. And at the moment we've got, well, we can do USA, Dutch, Austria. Let's play, let's play in the Dutch league. No, that's 38 matches. I'm going to wait. You can see 46, 38, 27. This is where it gets very repetitive. Uh, we'll, we'll do the USA Cup. No. USA Cup, there we go. And at the moment, well, it looks like we're playing as Minnesota because everything else is greyed out. Yes, you need additional points to unlock these teams, it looks like. Right, well, we're playing as Minnesota then. And there's Conor McGregor uh, for some reason. So we have to play, what is it? Two legs, one, two, three, four. There's about seven games there, yeah. And we're playing up against San Jose. And you can see here, you can... Presumably, this is going to be in the kind of the manager mode where you can actually change out formations and, you know, the players and that. But at the moment, in its default, just play it as it is. The, the AI and all that, it doesn't really make a big difference. Um, but we, we will give this a go and I will start wrapping up. So, my thoughts on it. As a fun arcade game, it kind of hits the mark. It's, it's, it is, it is, it ticks all the boxes, it's fun, it's easy to pick up and play, you don't even need to be a sports fan to be able to, uh, you know, play it. You, it's, it's simple, put somebody, the control in somebody's hand and they, they, they will grab it, grasp it straight away. You see, we're, we're getting shots on target, you know, within 30 seconds of starting a match. It's easy to grasp, almost curl it into the top corner there. Um... If you're after a hardcore, you know, football game, this is probably not it. If you're looking to play with your mates and they're, they're not there on the couch with you, this is one of those, well, you're going to have to wait a while because there, there is no date on when the, the online is coming. Uh, so it's certainly one to keep an eye on, I would say, in that can, case. And I would imagine as soon as you can play with friends... This, this is going to be one to, definitely worth checking out. I can see this being a fun party game. Uh, getting a lot of action on YouTube and Twitch and that people playing together. There we go. See, it's, I, I'm having a conversation with you guys and managing to score goals without really thinking about it. Um, so it, it is very easy. It's very pick up and play. If you want a challenge, you're going to have to play against real people. Um, but... It's, it's fun enough. I, I would say maybe it's not a purchase straight away. Especially at, I think it's like £15 UK and about $20 or €20, Euros, wherever you are in the world. Um, it's... Oh, and the, occasionally they freak out. I've had a couple of bugs. Uh, namely, you know... The, the players glitching out a little. Um, I had a shot on the goal... And then I missed, but the, uh, the the opposing goalie never picked up the ball. So I had to wait until the the end of the half for it to actually reset and uh, all that. So I, I was sat there for like three minutes waiting, everyone just standing around. So, yes, the AI is going to need a lot of improvements, um, especially if you want to play this as a single player game. Um, but there's, there's no, this isn't got the, 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 the FIFA, the journey style, uh, campaign to it. Uh, so you won't get involved. And as I said, every game is pretty much like the next. 
So, I, I'd, I'd say this is one more to keep on your radar rather than actually, you know, rushing out to get. If you want to help support the development, obviously they they did fail, you know, hitting their targets with Kickstarter. And this is why they've gone. Well, I have no idea why I was kicking over there. Uh, gone the early access route. If you do want to see this come to life, then that that's that is a reason enough to you know back it on early access essentially. But if you're after like a, a complete game, then this isn't quite there yet. It's without the the online, without that kind of sociable element to it. It is it is just its its essential framework at the moment. It's it's oh no, grab the ball, goalie. Yeah, shuffle worth. At least you're doing your job. Uh, oh, foul, ref. Okay, let's see if we can just hoof it from here. Let's see if I can get a, put a curl on it. Nope, too much curl. <laughs> Take his legs out. Oh, 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 no. What is it with this team? They're just going for the ankles, aren't they? Let's hoof it. Nope, nope, no hoofing it over the goalie. There you go. See, I can do that as well. So, yeah, my... If I get bored, I just spend a lot of the time just uh, sliding tackle everyone, see if I can get get some of the uh, players sent off. It, it does happen. You, I, I've, I've played a couple of games with just 10 men and I still managed to win, I think. It's, it's as I say, maybe a little too too easy for some people. But I, I like just the, the element of, you know, being able to pick up and play and not really be that bothered. There's, there's no real challenge here. It's, it's, it is probably more the, the kind of the rose-tinted nostalgia glasses of... I remember fondly playing Sensible Soccer, and this is essentially that. And like you see, we'll, we'll, we'll just roll into the next one, and it's, it's, it's the same over, over and over again. So... Did I press X? I didn't press X. We're playing San Jose again. No? Yes? No? What? What's going on? Oh, well. It's very short. Oh, of course it's two legs, isn't it? So there you go. <laughs> They're dumb as posts, aren't they? They will just hang around waiting for something to happen. There you go. Whoever's closest, just grab the ball, will you? There you go. And hoof it over the goalie. No, not quite. So I will say it's fun. Uh, probably not one to rush out and get unless you're looking to kind of support the um, the dev team working on it. Uh, but certainly keep it um, maybe on your wish list, maybe on your watch list if you're looking for a fun party game. I'm I'm intrigued to see what they do with the the kind of the, the sociable aspect of it. This kind of whole idea of creating avatars that you can essentially almost play uh, as players in the game. Uh, I'll be interested to see what the online is like. Um, if it's, if it's you know, if they can get the netcode right. Because the games are so quick, even if it's a bit janky, um, I think you'll be, you, you, you'll be able to forgive it because you'll be able to play the next game, next game, reasonably quickly. Um, certainly not a looker. It's not one you'd buy for, you know, being a realistic sports sim. It's not one you'd play for being, you know, a hardcore tactical sports game, you know, where every player has their own attributes and things like that. It, it's like, you know, those kind of 16-bit arcade games you, you probably remember. No, 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 my ball. Take his legs out. There you go, red card. <laughs> Into the sim bin with you. Uh. Oh, no. There, uh, keep his ball. So, at the end of the day, if you, you want to know more information about it, I will leave a link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. And, oh, oh no. No. No, 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 yeah. So if you want to find out more, link in the description. And if you've enjoyed this quick little first impressions, 
keep his ball again. Yeah, see, the the the, the opponent opponent striker had the perfect opportunity there. He could just nudge it into the top corner, but no, never mind. Uh, let's hoof it. Oh, not quite. Anyway, so yeah, it it gets a little tiresome. Um, oh, okay, I didn't realise that. It, if you don't pay attention, you'll you'll find the ball's halfway up the pitch already. There you go. Oh, so close. Never mind. All right. Yeah. So if you like the video, like the video. Uh, maybe subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. And if you want to get in touch, you can do in the comments below or on any of the socials over at the Killer Bits. All right. Until next time, folks. Play ball! No, wrong, wrong sport. Ah! No, uh, uh, my ball. Get him! Get him! Where's all the defenders gone? Ah, no, straight off the woodwork. <laughs> there we go.